Hello, hi ladies. I know most of you are watching this on the replay and you might say, oh my God, I didn't know. Don't worry, this was, I was actually going to just film it and then upload it. I didn't think I would do a live, but I ended up doing a live. <clears throat> but it's okay, the program, the seven days starts tomorrow, seven day challenge starts tomorrow. But um, this is the welcome to the seven day challenge and it's also how the seven days are gonna go because this is a little bit different than what I've done before. And um, also lets the people know who haven't signed up yet for this, what, what it's about. So these videos are going to be in this Facebook group, Women Living Boldly, 50 plus, and on my YouTube channel. So I'm going to upload this video to YouTube after. Diana Marchand is my YouTube channel. So if you know anybody who doesn't do Facebook, yes, they can still join the seven day channel challenge because you get the info through email and you can watch the video on YouTube. You don't have to be on Facebook. So let's get started. So now what I want to talk about is um, what I want every day for you to consider. I'm going to start with this. This is what I'm going to begin is through this program. I want you to put the focus on you. And so you're going to be more conscious how you're living, the things you're thinking, the words you are saying out loud and to yourself the energy you are giving out onto the world and the energy you are allowing in from other people. And we will talk about this through the seven days. Um, so every day I want you to do something to nourish your body, which is usually eating, <laughs> eating healthy, nourish your mind, which is watching your thoughts or reading something positive, like uh, writing out affirmations, things like that. We're going to talk about that through the seven days as well as nourish your soul or your spirit. Now, this could be if you read something faith-based, right? Or if you pray, if you meditate, if you do angel cards or tarot cards or journaling, okay? That is nourishing your soul. If you um, go for a walk in nature, something that brings you great joy, helps you connect to yourself, to a higher power, anything like that so you can choose whatever that is for you it can change every day or it can stay the same okay um, so every day you will receive uh, now one thing I'm gonna say I'm using a new email system email system is not an email like you have it is a program it's a software program when you sign up you guys all get filtered into something then I can do emails and it's a, it's a saw. It is not an easy, simple email program thing. <laughs> so I changed. I may go back to my old one because I'm not sure how this one's going to deliver every day. So I'm trying it out for this free program. Um, so let me know if you are not getting it. Now, I don't know what time you're going to get these emails every day because everybody's on different time zones. So I cannot do it where you all get it at 6 a.m. because you all live in different time zones. So just know that every day you will get an email from me. I'm not sure what time. Always check your junk mail. Always check your junk mail, spam folder, anything. If you're not getting emails from me, contact me. You probably have an email from me somewhere. Reply to that. Let me know. Or message me on Facebook Messenger, like Diana Marchand, my profile. Profile, and you can also go to my website, dianamarchand.com. It's really old. I'm getting rid of it. And you can go to contact page and contact me through there. It'll give you my email address. So those are some things to make sure that you're getting the email every day with the audio. It's going to be a short audio. Um, might have a little bit of a breathing thing to do. Might have just a focus of the day, like this is what I want you to focus on, or a little like mindset teaching kind of thing, okay? Every single day. This is going to help you start your day in a very intentional way, right? Because you want to live more intentionally, more consciously, instead of just loop to loop to loop, repeating the same day every day, every day, the same thoughts, the same actions, the same behaviors, and wondering why your life isn't going to change. So the question, which you will get tomorrow, but I want you to think about for this whole thing, is you're going to pick an area of your life. So you think about if my life doesn't change at all, the way it is right now, it stays the same. Will I be totally fine with that? In a year, 
six weeks, six months, two years, 10 years, whatever. Your life's always changing, but you know what I mean. If nothing changes in my life in the future, will I be okay with that? In all aspects. So there might be an area of your life you're like, oh, my career is fantastic. My relationship with my spouse is fantastic. But my weight and my health, no. So that's the area you're going to pick to focus on and work through in these seven days. You see what I mean? So I want you to focus. And there may be a couple areas of your life. Now, if it's if you have time to focus on exercise and eating, let's say, and commit to doing a little bit of exercise each, each day but, and also focus on what you eat throughout this program, great. If you don't, just pick one area, okay? So you want to focus on my life doesn't change at all in a year, would I be okay with that? And then go, no, because this, I don't want to be the same. Then what is this that you don't want to be the same? That's going to be the focus for this program. Hello, Tammy. I'm not sure if you've signed up for my seven day renew you, but that's what I'm talking about. So the videos are going to be in this Facebook group, but you're going to get audios and emails every day. So you have to sign up. Once this video is over, I will put once again, the sign up, um, it's free. Underneath this video, it's also in pin posts, some pin posts in this Facebook group. So that is it. And it's really about um, you taking care of you and noticing, oh my God, I've been letting this aspect of my life go. Like I really have been ignoring it or I've been procrastinating in this area and I don't want to procrastinate anymore. I Oh, I see now where I need to make changes. So you're going to have these ahas through this week. You're going to gain more awareness. You're going to have more clarity. And we want you also, again, to be focusing on each day, finding your joy, choosing your emotions, choosing your ways of being, because we can change our way of being. So today I was exhausted doing like tons of work that I had to do physical work. But I was very tired and I noticed I kept telling myself, oh my God, I'm so tired. Ugh. And I kept, caught myself, Diana, stop it. It was just because I didn't want to do what I had to do. You know how those days, right? We all have that. Oh my, I was fighting. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I'm so tired. It's making me so tired. Right? So I said to myself, no. Shift that. Shift. That's an old way of being. That's my old habits, right? When I don't want to do something, I'm a fighter. I'm a rebel, huge rebel. I would put up such a stink when I was young if I didn't want to do something. Drama, 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 right? So that is still in me, and I've been trying to overcome this for years. Don't make, I make such a big deal out of something if I don't want to do it? Like I'll just Whoa! like that used to be me, right? And now I'm like, hold it, do it, do it with a better attitude, do it with uh, focusing on something else. Uh, let go of your being a child. Like I was listening to myself. I'm like, you're acting like a child when you're doing this thing. Do it. Like, okay, I'm going to do it anyways. I'm, you know, starting to focus. I put on YouTube videos with good positive things that I wanted to hear in interviews and things like that. Right. So that I'm like, yeah, I want to focus on what I want to want to focus on. I don't want to go back into that old way of thinking that it only makes me feel more tired, right? So then when I finish that, of course, my energy is lifted. So I'm like, okay, I'm finished. Now I'm ready for stuff. Now I get to do what I want to do. So I'm like, I wasn't really, really exhausted. Like I was telling myself I was. I was just making a big deal out of it. Telling myself, I'm uh, feeling sorry for myself. Going into victim mood mode going into the old stories those old patterns that old way of being that i don't like but that i'm used to doing right and so i know though that is a challenge of mine so i today it was like working on that noticing what i was doing how i was being then noticing that when i finished those jobs i had to do i was like oh okay i really did kind of have more energy than i thought see diana See, you were making yourself tired and exhausted because you were telling yourself you were, but also because I didn't like what I was doing. That depletes our energy. But sometimes we got to do things we don't like to do. So you just got to understand, ah, oh, because I don't like what I'm doing and I'm telling myself I'm excited, I, you know, there's all this resistance to doing it. I'm making, I'm taking the energy away. Therefore, I don't feel like I have energy. 
So how many times during the week have you do you do that to yourself? Think about it. So every day you can write it out. One, two, three, a little line, right? Each day you have your daily commitments. What are your three focus? What am I going to do today to nourish my body? What am I going to do today to nourish my soul? Or make sure you do something. And doing something each day to nourish your um, body, mind, soul. And you can either choose something for each day or just have that focus. Body. I'm going to feed and nourish my body nourishing healthy foods. I'm going to walk or move my body every single day. That can be number one, right? That's your body. Number two, how are you going to nourish your mind? Well, I'm going to listen to some YouTube um, on ways of changing my thinking, thinking more positively, overcoming bad habits, things like that, whatever. Or reading a book, right? Like Power of the Subconscious Mind is a great book to read. It's called The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. It was written in 1963, the year I was born. Uh, there are more updated versions. I suggest getting those. But something like that. Or Rhonda Burns' The Secret. Or Rhonda Burns' The Power. Like some sort of book that is like um, showing you how to rewire your brain, rethink thoughts so that you're more positive and working towards what you desire. And then Nourish Your Soul, again, is the... Um, how can I connect with my higher power? How can I connect my intuition to my soul? Uh, meditating, doing angel cards, tarot cards, writing affirmations, reading affirmations, journaling, um, reading the Bible. Some people do that. So whatever is for you that connects you to your spirit and your soul, faith. Okay, that's number three, nourishing your soul. So every day you're going to do something for each aspect of that. Okay, now is that all? Oh, hello, whoever's popped on. So make sure you've joined my free seven day renew challenge. Renew you, ignite the spark within, um, nourish your body, mind, and soul. That's what I'm talking about. Um, and there is a link to join in the pinned comments of this group or in YouTube. When you're, if you're watching this from YouTube, I will have it in the description and the first comment. It's free to sign up. Have patience with me because I'm doing a new email system, so might get a little tricky, but I will do my best. So always, every day if you're signed up, look for an email from me. And you should have, if you're signed up, you should have received an email from me already. So make sure you have, okay? And like I said, if you haven't, always notified me. If you can't find your emails, always contact me through Facebook Messenger or um, you can go to dianamarchand.com. Look for my under contact me, contact me, or on a, one of these YouTube videos, comment below that you need my help and you haven't had my email. But that's hard because I have a, I can't contact you, right? <laughs> um, but if you let me know your name and you did sign up, I could check on that. All right, so this is video number one. I will be emailing you when I'm going to be doing the next video. It, I'm trying. I'm still trying to think. Because I would love to do one tomorrow, but that's almost too soon. So I think I'll, I'll do one uh, Tuesday, maybe again Wednesday, Friday. Like I'm just going to do these little videos on YouTube. They won't be this long. On YouTube along with the audios. And so those who want to watch extra stuff, trainings, can watch the videos. If you don't want to watch the extra videos, you don't have to. Just make sure to listen to the audios every single day and do the affirmation, maybe the journal prompt. And just again, focus on you this week. Notice and gain more awareness and clarity about yourself. More acceptance, love, and trust for yourself too. All right, so much love to you. Comment below that you've watched this. Let me know what your thoughts are, any comments you have, or any questions. All right, bye-bye.